Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our other videos. Somebody said, is it possible to add multiple links to a single image? And the simple answer is, yeah, it's really easy actually. I've got an image here on the left. If I roll over the top part, it'll take us up to the top. I've got it linked to my CSS ID up there. If I hover over the middle part, it says land there, it'll take me down to the bottom. And of course, you don't have to have the visual aids, the actual writing there if you don't want to. I've just put them in for demonstration. If I hover over the C part at the bottom there, it'll take me down to the bottom. I've got one on the right here. Pretty much anywhere that you click on this image, it'll pop out into a light box. I've also added a couple of little icons. This first one will take us up to the top here, and the second one will take us down. Really easy to do. In this video today, I'm going to do this one. In tomorrow's video, we'll do this one. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. I'm going to add a new section. A little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And I'll do two columns. We can do exactly what we did above here. I'm going to add an image module to this. And let's go choose an image. I'm going to use this one because it's fairly easy to split into three. Now down below for this particular one, I don't need to link it to anywhere because I'm going to cover it with three different links here. I'm going to have one for the sky, one for the land and one for the water. So I'm going to save that just as it is. I don't need a light box effect or anything like that either. Now let's add a new module. So I'm going to click on the existing one, a little dark button. I'm going to use a call to action. You use what you want for this. I'm just going to use the text part of that though. I don't want a title. And I don't want a button. And let's just say sky on this or whatever it is you want to say. Of course, you can leave that all in there if you want to say multiple things. And that says sky there. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, just simply hit the little paintbrush there. It will take you straight to it. You can make it bigger, smaller, capitalize it. All the crazy features you have with Divi anyway. Great, I'm going to leave mine just like that. Okay, now I want it to link, link it to somewhere. So I'm going to go down into the link down below and not where it says button link, down below where it says module link. You can put the URL of where you want to take people. I've got CSS IDs from my top and bottom, so that's what I'll use today. Of course, you can put any URL and take them wherever you want. So my top's called top section. So I'll take them there with mine. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Great. Eventually I'm going to take that background away, but for the time being, I'm going to leave it in there. So I'm just going to save this and I'm going to copy it twice or duplicate it twice. So I've saved it. I'm going to go over, click on it, hit the two little squares there to duplicate it. And these are the three links that we're going to put over the module. So top one's fine there for the moment. Second one, Let's call it land or whatever it is you want to call yours, obviously. And I'm going to link this to my middle section, which I've got a CSS ID of midsection for that. And the bottom one, let's call that one C and we'll link that one to the bottom section. Great. Okay, so I'm now going to go into all of these and position them over the top of this. And I'm going to put them one on top of each other. So I'm going to go into the sky one there. I'm going to hit the little cog. I'm going to go to advance, down to position. I'm going to change the default to absolute. And as you can see, it's popped it up to the top there. I'm going to do the same for the second one and pop it in the middle. over to advanced, position, absolute, and let's pop that one into the middle there. 
and we'll go into the third one and we'll put it on the bottom. Advanced position, absolute, and we'll pop that one on the bottom. Great. Well, I now want to go into my top one here. Once we've got them positioned like this, you might find it difficult to get into them. You may see this. If you do, we can go to our little purple button down at the bottom. Go over to the icon on the bottom left hand side, wire frame view. We can go in there, if I roll down, and we can get to them from the back end. So I'm going to go into my top one here. Once we're in there, we can flip back desktop mode. And let's make it the size that I actually want it, which is probably about 50% of that container. So I'm going to go to sizing. Height, let's give it 50%. And if we take that background away. We now want to offset our second one, push it down to where we want it. So we'll save this. We'll go into our second one. Just going back into wireframe mode. There's our second one. And we want to offset this to where we want it. So I'll go over to advance and position. I've got no vertical offset with this. So I'm actually going to change it to top. And then give it a vertical offset of maybe 50%. We'll try that. Yeah, that's about right there. But we don't want it to be too deep. Let's go into our design. Go to our sizing. And let's take it down in size to maybe 25%. Great, and we can take that background away now. And the C wants to just go down a little bit. Let's go into the C. And we can go back to desktop mode. Go over to advanced and position. Actually going to pop this one on the top. And let's have it. So if we go back to our content now, take a bit of that background away. I'm going to click on it, bring the opacity down a tad. Yeah, it's still too tall. We've got a bit of the image sticking out there. So we want to get rid of that. I'm going to go into our sizing. Let's give it a height of, say, 10%. Wow, that's almost bang on. that is going to work for me great so we can now take that background color completely away now if you want to have something there just leave it like it is I'm going to have it not there then come in on hover if you want to have nothing there and just the link you can do that also so if we go to our design go down to filters go down to opacity and this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark riding within a module, you'll see some little icons appear. It's got a little arrow. We can set a desktop and a hover state. Desktop state is when the mouse is not on it. When the mouse is not on it, I don't want to see anything. Now, if you don't want to see anything on any of them, just leave it like that. The links will still work. But I want to bring it back when people hover over it. So to do that, hit the little arrow. bring that back up to 100% when they hover over it. And we just need to do that for the other two and we're good to go. So let's save our changes here. I'm going to go back into wireframe mode. Let's go to where we want to work. We've done the bottom one. Let's go into this next one. Go down to filters. Hit the little arrow, desktop, zero. Hover state, 100%. And let's do our top one now. Same thing, design, filters, opacity. 
little arrow, desktop, zero, hover, 100%. If we flip back to desktop now, you shouldn't see that writing. Great. Let's save our changes now. We'll go down and save the page changes. Hit the little purple button. Go over to the save. Hit save. And let's exit the visual builder. And let's go down. Here's where we were working. When I hover over the top, it's going to say sky up there. This should take us to the top of the page. There we go. When I hover over the middle, it's going to say land. That should take us to the middle section right there. And when we hover over the sea, it should say sea. And that's going to take us to the bottom right there. So there you go. There's an image with three different links. And like I say, you don't have to have any text pop up when you hover. That's entirely up to you. In our next video, we'll show you how to do this one that has a light box and also has separate links, one on a little lighthouse there and one on a little rock there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and I hope that's answered that question and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video when we demo that one. Well, once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or do a little demo video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.